All righty, we have a construction update for Canada's Wonderland using our drone again. And uh, boy, there actually is a lot to cover. I wasn't expecting uh, the Yukon Striker bit of it. Um, and uh, Mountain Bay Cliffs is moving along really nicely. So in this footage, you're going to see the massive crater that Mountain Bay Cliffs is and uh, the amount of seating in Splashworks that it takes up. So I don't know what they're going to do um, with locating guests for a seating spot. A little confused by that, as you can see on the screen right now. Where is everyone going to sit in Splashworks? Because that area held a good like 200 people in a hot summer day. So a little confused by that, but oh, well, that's Wonderland's problem. We'll see what they do about that. Um, and Yukon Strikers storage area or like the transfer track into the storage area for the trains is completely changed. Um, it looks like it's been completely rethemed. So um, at the end of fall, we noticed that they had started to theme it. Um, it looks like it's been completely changed from what I can tell. Maybe it's the same. I don't know, but it looks completely different because in fall, they had already started to rust the roof. And now that I'm seeing a brand new silver roof. So I'm assuming that they completely overhauled it. As you can see here, here's a zoomed in shot. I know it's not as clear as day. Again, you have to remember we are hundreds of feet away from the park and hundreds of feet in the air. Um, so as you can see, there's theming being installed. Don't know what they're doing at the front of it because again, we're so far away. Um, but yeah, it looks like uh, it's going to look much better than it did in the summer. So super excited that they're theming that. Um, we knew that Yukon Striker wasn't able to finish all of its theming before the start of the season. So that's probably exactly what they're doing right now. Just finishing all the final touches. Maybe we'll see some more things in the queue line when we come back in 2020. Um, who knows? We also know that they're, they're going to have to redig up the footings in the uh, Lake Barrage, I think is what it's called. Um, in Vortex Lake, they're going to dig up those footers and fix those because they are bobbing and they're not supposed to bob. But here is a better shot of Mountain Bay Cliffs. As you can see, again, it is just a giant crater. I'm assuming that is going to be the pool. Um, and then behind the pool there where the excavator is hidden around Behemoth's turnaround is where the actual kind of cliffs will be located. So it's going to fit in really tight there. Uh, with the service road and everything, but it's definitely going to make Slashworks look a lot better. It's definitely, again, for anyone that's been paying attention, Canada's Wonderland is literally transforming into Canada's Wonderland. Every little bit of addition they do to Slashworks is, uh, sorry, just had a hiccup there. Every little addition they do to Slashworks is Canadian themed now, um, and they've been slowly transforming it into a Canadian themed area. Then you have the Yukon Frontier Canada area that's opened up that's Canadian themed. So definitely um, some exciting stuff for Canada's Wonderland in terms of Canadian theming. I'm loving it. I know there are a few people who are like, oh, it's so cliche. I love Frontier Canada. I think it's absolutely stunning. I'm super excited that the park did that. And I definitely really love what they're doing with Splashworks because Splashworks was so generic. I don't care how cliche they go. They can put canoes. They can put lumberjacks in Splashworks. I am down for any amount of theming. So seeing a cliff, I know a lot of people are joking, <laughs> literally Wonderland's getting cliffs um, for 2020. I'm so excited about it because it enhances Splash Ricks. And Splash Ricks, in my opinion, is one of the ugliest things about Wonderland um, in terms of the crowds that they cram in there um, and the seating and just no, it's so generic. Anyways, that's all I have to say. Hope you enjoyed this quick construction update about uh, Canada's Wonderland's 2020. Um, and Yukon Striker. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good week, guys. Bye.